Hi! With the release of the World Update 1 Japan for FS 2020 today, I thought I'd detail some challenges that I experienced during the install and go over the process that I did to finish it. I'll preface this by saying everyone's system is different and you may have none of the issues outlined in this video. Your installation may go smoothly. If so, make sure to check out the list of GPS coordinates in the description of this video for all 24 of the points of interest in the new update. When you start up FS2020 today and you proceed past the Press Any Key screen, you'll be presented with the mandatory Game Update Available screen. At this point, I recommend pressing Alt F4 to terminate FS2020. This is so that when the install occurs, the application isn't already running and causes an error in the installer. Now, go into your purchase client manually to perform the update, whether that be Steam or the Windows Store. I bought my copy on the Windows Store, so this video is predominantly focused on that, but there are elements here that will apply to both systems. Once in the store, I go to my purchases and I find I have an update for FS2020. The first time I attempted this update, it started to run and then failed with some error. And the issue was that Windows had decided to disconnect my dedicated SSD drive that I have FS2020 installed onto. Once I remounted the external drive, the installation proceeded as normal. Upon completion of the installation, I ran FS2020 from my taskbar and instead of having the application run normally, I was taken to the Windows Store and dropped off on the Gaming Services component page with no explanation like this. After a quick interaction with support, they gave me a procedure that involved uninstalling gaming services and uninstalling the simulator, but not uninstalling its full 90 gigs of content doing a few other steps. I listed this process in the description in case you run into this issue and using it fixed the issue for me. Once that was completed, I was able to run FS2020 as normal and it brought me to this installation page. Note the size that it says it will install is 95.79 gigabytes and this is not true. Once it's pointed to the correct location, it will show the real patch size when it sees we already have the main content already installed there. Its install location was defaulted to my boot drive, which is not what I wanted, so I clicked on the Browse button to point to my SSD. Using the Explorer window, I was unable to specify the destination and ended up just typing it into the path bar to get FS2020 to accept that as its path. Once it had the correct path, it reflected the correct patch size as expected. I was able to run the update normally, and when the update was finished, I quit the application and rebooted just as a safety action. Then I ran the application again and was presented with these new splash screens. Sadly, we still have the Press Any Key screen. Once inside the application, you can see the news in the lower right has a new item about the Japan update. To get the update, you need to go to the Marketplace screen. Then click on the Japan update on the left like this and buy and download and you're done. It's free. They've added a new Japan tour element to the homepage, but I've not tried that out yet. If you have, uh, please let us know in the comments what you thought of it. In the description of this video, you'll find the GPS coordinates of all of the new points of interest that were added for Japan. And this update brings a slew of bug fixes and other updates as well, so make sure to check out the patch notes, which are linked in the description. If you didn't like this video, please hit the dislike, but if it helps you at all, please hit the like, as this is super helpful for me to understand what videos are of interest. That's it for this video, and until the next video, take care.